Tesla is keeping the crucial details of the Optimus V3 design under wraps. Elon Musk once stated, We are working on a design that no one has ever seen before. With more than 10,000 robots already in internal testing, Tesla is in a unique position to turn this promise into reality. The mystery surrounding the V3 design is exactly what keeps the market's eyes locked on it. So what is Tesla really hiding inside Optimus V3? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. What is the exclusive new design in Optimus V3? When people think of Tesla Optimus, most only remember the early demos, awkward steps, clumsy arms. But in truth, that was just the elementary stage. Behind the scenes, Tesla has quietly upgraded Optimus into something entirely different. Optimus V3. Elon Musk has even hinted on X that this new design has advanced so far. He's not ready to reveal it yet. So, what makes Optimus V3 so special that even Musk feels the need to keep it under wraps? Here are the design details that almost no one has told you about. The first thing that surprised many Tesla engineers is the exterior. If in V2 you could still see mechanical gaps and exposed bolts, in V3 all of that is nearly gone. The outer shell is now seamless, smooth, and finished in a minimalist black and white style that looks strikingly modern. It no longer feels like an experimental prototype, but like a commercial product ready to step into your home or be deployed in a hospital. This is pure Tesla design language. Simple, reduced and visible details, yet instantly recognizable, just as with the Model 3 or Model Y. But the appearance is only the surface. The real breakthrough lies in the hands. Elon Musk once stated the goal was to achieve manual dexterity of a human. In other words, hands that are nearly as skillful as real human hands. To accomplish this, Tesla has packed 26 actuators into just one arm. That number alone exceeds the total actuators used in the entire seat system of a Model 3. Thanks to this extraordinary density, Optimus V3 can do things robots could only dream of before. Turn knobs, tighten screws, grip tiny objects without dropping them, or even balance force to carry heavy loads. This is where Boston Dynamics Atlas, despite its ability to jump and perform flips, falls short. Atlas excels at athletic movement, while Optimus is targeting practical dexterity. And if you think the upgrades stop at the hands, think again. The chest and shoulders of V3 have been completely redesigned. Instead of being made of many small pieces, they now consist of large, rigid panels that not only protect the battery, processing chips, and sensors, but also give the robot a cleaner, more compact form. Even the back of Optimus is now flat, not just for aesthetics, but also to allow Tesla to easily attach new modules, such as a cooling system or higher capacity battery packs. This is Tesla's art of hiding technology, inspired by the gigacasting strategy in EVs. Minimize part count, cast large sections in one piece, and prepare the design for mass production. But the biggest question remains, why hasn't Elon Musk unveiled the full design yet? The answer likely comes down to two words, commerce and strategy. On the commercial side, Optimus V3 is already being tested inside Tesla's own factories. If game-changing capabilities like dexterous hands or whole body coordination were revealed too soon, competitors would gain extra time to catch up. On the strategic side, if Musk were to unveil a nearly perfected design prematurely, he would place Tesla directly in the center of immense market pressure. At a time when the product still needs fine-tuning to scale into mass production. Put simply, Optimus V3 has advanced much further than most people think, and that's exactly why Musk is reluctant to lift the curtain too early. Tesla is keeping the secret until they can be sure that when Optimus finally steps into the spotlight, it won't just amaze the public. It will set an entirely new benchmark for the humanoid robotics industry. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. Why did Tesla choose to change these key design elements in version V3? When Tesla unveiled Optimus V3, most of the initial attention was drawn to its sleeker and more polished appearance. But beneath that exterior lies one of the most important upgrades, a redesigned joint system and drive mechanism. This is not just a technical improvement, but also a strategic step for Tesla to move Optimus from an experimental prototype toward a mass market commercial product. While rivals like Boston, Dynamics, remain focused on showcasing spectacular athletic feats, Tesla has chosen a different path, prioritizing precision, durability, and scalability in manufacturing. In Optimus version 3, the joints in the shoulders, elbows, knees, and ankles have been redesigned to be more compact and enclosed compared to V2 and V2.5. In earlier versions, 
the exposed actuators gave the impression of a test prototype, whereas in V3, Tesla has encased most of the actuators within protective covers, giving the robot a seamless appearance while also improving resistance to dust and impacts. This makes the robot's movements more stable and precise, especially in delicate tasks, such as picking up small components on an assembly line or arranging goods in a warehouse. This is a clear advantage over Boston Dynamics Atlas, which can run, jump, and perform flips, but is not optimized for repetitive industrial tasks that require high precision. Another key point is that Tesla has applied its automotive manufacturing philosophy to robots. The joints and actuators of Optimus V3 appear to have been developed as quickswap modules, allowing entire modules to be replaced when faults occur instead of dismantling an entire arm or leg. This approach mirrors gigacasting in electric vehicle manufacturing, where hundreds of small parts are replaced by a few large castings. The benefits of this philosophy for robotics are easier maintenance, faster production, and lower costs. By contrast, Boston Dynamics has designed Atlas with extremely intricate joints to achieve maximum flexibility. But this also drives up production and maintenance costs, making it difficult for Atlas to become a mass market product. Tesla is clearly prioritizing practical optimization over mechanical sophistication for the sake of spectacle. The next major difference lies in the intended use. Optimus V3 emphasizes strength, durability, and practicality rather than flashy on-stage acrobatics. Its mechanical joints are optimized to handle heavy loads, enabling the robot to lift objects and carry out repetitive tasks in industrial environments. Atlas, by comparison, may excel at flips and spins, but such capabilities offer little value in factories or warehouses. Elon Musk is not trying to prove that Optimus can leap over obstacles. He stresses instead that it can stand on an assembly line for eight hours, picking chips and tightening bolts, tasks that generate real economic value. This fits Musk's broader vision that Optimus will ultimately have a greater economic impact than electric vehicles or solar energy. From a commercialization standpoint, Tesla holds a decisive advantage over Boston Dynamics. Atlas remains purely a research platform and is not available on the market, whereas Musk has positioned Optimus as a commercial product with a target price below $20,000. Such a price point is only achievable if the robot's design is simplified and optimized for mass production. The modular joints and compact actuators of Optimus V3 are clear evidence of this strategy. Tesla's goal is not to build the most mechanically intricate robot, but one that is good enough, easy to manufacture, and scalable. The very same philosophy that made the Model 3 and Model Y the world's most popular electric cars. Why could Optimus become bigger than Tesla's EV business? The Optimus V3 robot represents one of the most ambitious engineering projects in Tesla's history. Unlike electric cars, which rely on many standardized components, Optimus requires over 1,000 parts that are entirely new and unprecedented in the field of robotics. This fact alone demonstrates that Optimus is fundamentally different from Tesla's vehicles, both in terms of cost structure and production complexity. Elon Musk once candidly admitted, building Optimus is harder than Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, but not as hard as Starship. This statement makes it clear. Optimus is not simply a new Tesla product, but rather a leap into an entirely new industry. The development of 1,000 new components comes with enormous research and development costs. Every actuator, joint, and structural element must be designed, prototyped, tested, and then redesigned until it meets Tesla's standards for performance and durability. In the initial production phase, this process pushes the unit cost of an Optimus V3 to extremely high levels. Analysts estimate that the first batch of commercial robots could cost Tesla between $100,000 and $150,000 per unit, excluding distribution and maintenance expenses. Such a figure is far above Tesla's target price, meaning Optimus at first will only be suitable for deployment in factories and controlled environments. However, Tesla is well known for its ability to bend cost curves through scale. The story of the Model 3 is a prime example. Initially mired in production hell, it eventually became profitable thanks to automation, standardized parts, and the massive output of gigafactories the same scenario will likely play out with Optimus. Once Tesla reaches production volumes of tens of thousands of robots, the fixed costs of R&D and tooling will be spread across larger output, while automated assembly lines will significantly reduce labor costs. Once Tesla standardizes the manufacturing of these 1,000 parts, the production cost of Optimus will drop sharply. Musk has suggested that the long-term goal is to bring the price of Optimus down to $20,000 to $30,000, roughly equivalent to a compact electric car. If achieved, this would be revolutionary, 
a humanoid robot priced like a mid-range car would transform not only Tesla's business model, but also the very foundation of the global labor economy. Tesla is also unlikely to rely solely on direct retail sales. Musk has floated the idea of leasing Optimus on a monthly basis at a rate lower than the salary of an average worker. This model would eliminate the upfront cost barrier for small and medium-sized businesses, allowing them to hire a robot as a subscription-based employee. It mirrors the recurring revenue strategy of autonomous robotaxis, where profits come from utilization rather than hardware sales. If a robot is leased at $2,000 per month, a fleet of 1 million Optimus units could generate $24 billion in annual revenue, comparable to the yearly sales of a major automaker. The humanoid robot market is projected to reach trillions of dollars in the coming decades, yet no company has achieved large-scale mass production. By designing more than 1,000 proprietary components in-house, Tesla has created a competitive moat that is not easily replicated. This vertical integration mirrors Tesla's development of the 4680 battery cell, which gave it an edge in the EV industry. Competitors such as Boston Dynamics and Figure AI may have advanced prototypes, but none possess Tesla's combination of internal manufacturing capability, integrated supply chain, and large-scale factory infrastructure. To put this in perspective, Apple, the world's most valuable company, currently has a market capitalization of about $3 trillion. Musk is essentially implying that Optimus alone could make Tesla eight times the size of Apple. The logic behind this projection rests on simple math. If Optimus can be mass-produced at $25,000 and Tesla sells or leases millions of units each year, the resulting revenue and profits would far exceed those of the automotive sector. Unlike cars, which only provide mobility, robots can perform labor replacing or assisting human workers across industries from logistics to healthcare. The high initial price of Optimus V3 will not define its future. What truly matters is Tesla's ability to reduce the cost to $20,000 to $30,000 through scale and automation. At that price point, Optimus ceases to be a niche product and becomes a mainstream labor solution. Combined with leasing models and software upgrades, Tesla can continue to generate revenue from each robot long after it is sold creating the kind of recurring income streams that investors highly value. Ultimately, the 1,000 proprietary components of Optimus V3 represent more than just technical complexity. They are a moat protecting Tesla from competitors, a manufacturing challenge only Tesla is positioned to solve, and a gateway to the $25 trillion future Musk envisions. If Tesla can both lower Optimus's cost and ramp up production, the company may not only revolutionize transportation, but also redefine the entire global economy. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.